Hello and welcome to a new Urkoop TV. And now for something completely different. My friend Juan of Blanco Lirio fame and I have picked up an already started RV12 kit. This is a kit of metal parts which you build into a full scale, two seat, 125 mile an hour low wing monoplane with tricycle landing gear. It's a 2010 kit for which the previous owner completed the horizontal stabilizer and what they call the tail cone, which is really the rear half of the fuselage. The rest is all in the original crates. Now Juan and I don't really need extra aircraft. We have enough machines to feed and care for right now, but we do have an alternative motive for this. Honestly, Diane and Jenny, this one isn't for us. The idea is to provide an opportunity for Charles, Pete and Julianne to make something with their hands, understand the engineering that goes into an aircraft and hopefully end up with a machine they can learn to fly in when it's finished. Finishing is a long way off and we'll have to spend a lot of money to get it there. At the moment, the kit just consists of the base airframe. To finish, we'll need to get a finishing kit, which supplies things like the canopy, cowlings, wheels and brakes, etc. Then there's the avionics, the instruments and other panel mounted equipment, which are all high cost items. And finally, the big one, the engine. There are also a number of service bulletins we'll need to apply to the completed pieces in order to bring those up to current spec. So we'll see how Charles, Julianne and Pete take to it. Hopefully some other kids will join in as well. There is certainly a lot of work to do. Lots and lots of pop rivets. Juan has some experience building an RV previously, so he'll help guide us all along. Plus, there is a lot of guys with experience at our airport that I'm sure will be able to help if we need it. We're currently working out of Juan's Husky hangar, but we'll have to figure out somewhere else to move as the project grows. We're also piecing together all the tools we need, and we need a lot of them. So here's a little video of our pickup adventure where we got the kit, and once we got it home, doing some work on the vertical stabilizer with the kids. <laughs> What's up? Give, give me a we weather got a update, Juan. Up here, you're going to be uh, just to the right side of the cell, up ahead, only a nine knot crosswind for this big box carrier, and uh, yeah, full steam ahead. Excellent. Take a little but picture here. It just kind of grouped together. Yeah, that's perfect. And this is a wing spar here. Yeah, yeah. I think the wing kit is the lower box, and the okay. fuselage kit is the upper box. I, think. I see. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. Stab. Um, Very cool. All right, loading things up here. Wings. Stabilator over here. Yeah. A fuselage box, and one's tying up the stabilator. That hurt me to go, so, but it's... Oh boy, Juan, well, what have we done? Just like an episode of American Pickers. <laughs> Look at the fat guy over there. <laughs> the fat guy's over here now, heading out of the airport. Oh. That's a very cautionary tale. I'm afraid I'm going to be right behind Bill's footsteps in... Um, 16 years he's got he's three hangers he, full of stuff he and just said he's getting snowed under right all yeah these all these vehicles that require time and attention yep yep time and attention out of three hangers worth of vehicles not a not a one of them's annual or airworthy right now yeah, yeah. so he's just, so he's doing the right thing and lightening his load and we're just here to help <laughs> but then it's going to be a problem for us 16 years hence, so stay tuned. Yeah, so the RV12 project begins. Yeah, too much stuff. Yeah, I came in here with Diane once, I remember that little terminal building. Very wet, Novato, California. Yes, it is soaking out of here. Good. No. It's always a good sign. Smooth ride. Made it back to Nevada County. And now we gotta get it out, get it in the husky hangar for now. Man, cold. Yeah. Alright. 
15 minutes of lifting and we're all done. Keep the hanger, right. It's all in here. And that's where uh, the engine. Yeah, yeah. Set up shop. There we go. Wings, tail cone, vertical bits. Wings and fuselage. Oh, and the stabilizer. Well, there's plenty of room in there. Oh, and that's different. Yeah, that's a World War II Clico. Yeah. That's a pre-war Clico. Pre-war? Yeah. Uh, let's get them over there and then we'll switch. Mono. Are these all the same size Clicos? Yes, all one eight. Okay, oh. now let's flip this over, pull those out. I hear an airplane. I hear a road tax. Is that a road tax? Mm -hmm. I'll set, set fires down. Just throw them on the bench. And then uh, let's start uh, deburring this. So first, let's. Just down. Um, deburring here. Pete, you gotta get your pliers out of there. Okay, good. All right, good. All right, what about this next rib? Grab two more of these bronzes, right? Anywhere? Got one. Okay. Grab and squeeze. And uh, somebody grab that hole there. Let me get my up there. Okay, let her go. Uh, Pete, grab the next hole there. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's really coming together. It goes. Looks like an airplane part. That way. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And then just grab that next hole that's in there, and there. Squeeze and push. Squeeze. Good. Okay, there we go. Good. Excellent. Okay, now, um, oh my god. Protective coating to protect the aluminium. There's instructions for the page we're on. Step six, I believe. Yeah. All right, here's the, uh, the spar of the vertical stab. We'll pop rivets in on the end caps. Sean Oz is doing this uh, bit over here. LP 4 3, yeah. You got it. No, that, that's a screw goes there. Yeah. Get that one nice and straight. So it's been held in place with the Clecos, and the first rivet is going in. A few more ratchets. There Good. we go. Okay, get your Clecos. Vertical, right? right? Are we done? Yeah. Totally done? Cool. Thanks for watching. Both Juan and I will be posting updates on the build, so make sure you are subscribed to both channels. There's a link to Juan's in the description below. And also make sure the bell icon underneath the video is clicked so that you're notified when there's a new one available. See you soon.